Good morning. Welcome to prayer and coffee for this Thursday. How do we praise the Lord when everything is in chaos and we're hurting? I've learned that's the best time to praise the Lord more. In Acts 16, Paul and Silas are on a missionary journey, planting churches when they run into trouble for preaching the gospel and for using the name of Jesus to set a young woman free. Acts 16, verse 22 through 24. Then the magistrates rose up together against them, and the magistrates tore off their clothes and commanded them to be beaten with rods. When they had laid many stripes on them, they threw them into the prison, commanding the jailer to keep them securely. Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. Many are feeling in this current crisis that they have been beaten up and it's left you cut off and alone with no way out. That's where Paul and Silas are. They're beaten up, cut off, and alone. And in that moment, in verse 25, at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners were listening to them. Even in the darkest times when everything seems in chaos and turmoil and when you feel beaten up, when we pray and worship God, things can change. Verse 26, suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were loosed and everyone's chains were loosed. Paul got to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and the people were saved. When we pray and worship, not just worship and not just pray, but both together, when we pray and worship, things change and God even opens a door for ministry. Let's pray. O oh Lord, my strength, the Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God and my salvation in whom I trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand has held me up. Your gentleness has made me great. You enlarged my path under me so that my feet did not slip. Your way is perfect. Your word is proven. You are a shield to all who trust you. And so I give thanks to you, O Lord. I sing praises to your name. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. In the name of my Savior, my Deliverer, Jesus Christ, 